go from VMware to KubeVirt, you know, but if you're running mostly containers, like say like 80% of your workloads are just containers, all you're doing is adding overhead to what you could be running on bare metal by just having these virtual machines, right? Like the cost, so the cost to stay on VMware or something like that, super expensive. The cost to stay on OpenStack is also expensive uh, in that you've got all the time invested and the people and stuff like that. Making the transition is going to be difficult, right? So the cost to move is going to be expensive. OpenStack doesn't have the licensing, but you have the people requirement. You have to be able to troubleshoot, you know, virtual networking. You have to be able to troubleshoot like 10 different services, depending on how much stuff you have installed. I remember uh, the one of the largest OpenStack clouds was like Walmart back in like the mid 2010s. Uh, and like they were bragging about, oh, we've got, you know, it's super easy. We've got like all of these nodes and stuff. And they were literally using like the easiest version of networking you could use, which was Nova Network, which was a flat network, which was kind of like EC2 used to be, um, where it was just all a flat DHCP and everyone was in the same network and you didn't give each person their own virtual network to keep them separated, right? 